Hello, Christian Livingstone here, and I'm heading down to an Aldi store. It's a supermarket that uh, I don't usually shop at, but, uh, you know, with all this coronavirus and masks, muzzling uh, uh, edicts, uh, I've decided to shop there because uh, their store policy still isn't demanding uh, mask wearing. Now, recently, uh, Walmart and then uh, the store I usually shop at, uh, uh, a Kroger store, did. They changed their store policy and they said, okay, you know, after all this time, I think it was uh, June, uh, July 22nd, they said, okay, now we're going to demand masks on everybody, you know, in addition to social distancing and other little, little things they've been doing in their store for some time. And, uh, you know, it's never a problem. And, uh, but I don't want to wear a mask. I, I, I believe they're uh, really nonsense. They certainly don't stop the virus. And, uh, you know, for the wearers, uh, you know, over a, a, a short amount of time, they, they do uh, uh, tend to make people sick. They, you know, inhibit the oxygen and ultimately in your bloodstream. And it's just, uh, just not a, an efficacious type of a, a remedy for uh, somebody who is sick and who wants to prevent uh, you know, getting sicker. So anyway, uh, uh, this Aldi store, I, I like them because they uh, didn't change their store policy, but, you know, I did go into the store for the first time, and they've got some different methodology in how their uh, model is for uh, uh, shopping. You know, if you ever go into one, you'll, you'll notice it immediately. And it's Hey there, kids. <sighs> I still like, uh, uh, you know, the uh, Kroger and, and even Walmart. I, you know, I'm, I'm all for Walmart, but uh, they apparently succumb to uh, a state pressure you know, uh, Washington, D.C. pressure, because, you know, across the land, uh, suddenly they decided, oh, we're going to demand masks. We didn't used to for the past summer, but uh, suddenly they are, and, uh, and they're majority of, uh, you know, food sellers. And uh, uh, so, you know, the state was clever in that way to, you know, get the stores to change uh, their uh, policy so you know it and i respect private property i mean it, you know if they don't want you to smoke in their stores of course you know you shouldn't be able to smoke uh, against their wishes but uh, now with mass see it's not a state uh, edict so you know the, the shoppers can't challenge uh, in court the, you know the state limiting their freedom and uh, causing them to wear muzzles uh, under police power color of law and all that stuff so <clears throat> but when the store does it, uh, it's it's not a, a court problem uh, for the state. So, you know, that was clever of the state to, to get the stores to do their dirty work. But not all stores. Now, Aldi's uh, hasn't changed their store policy, but they post a big poster uh, in front as you go in that kind of leads you to believe they have. But it, it quotes as a, an executive order of, you know, the state uh, that uh, mass are... are mandated or proper in, in some areas. So it leads you to believe that they've changed their policy, but they haven't. And, uh, you know, I've gone in there for the first time, one time, and sure enough, you know, virtually everybody was wearing masks. Uh, me and uh, uh, one other gal uh, wasn't, but, uh, you know, nobody attacked us like little fascists uh, in Nazi Germany. Oh, thanks. That is, that is slick. You build it yourself? Yeah. Yeah. You can do this actually on any bike. The motors are laced into the right. wheel. I've seen those. I put a second one on the other wheel after a couple of years to see if it would go in the snow, and it does.
Oh, yeah. And you can hand crank it too, huh? Yeah, in case these ever go down, and when I get on the smoother surfaces, right. I do tend to get my exercise because my jumping jack days are over. Yes, so I, I, I still do a little up top. Yeah. I like that, man. That's legit. Yeah, e-bikes. You can get kits, uh, you know, for about 300 bucks, less the battery. Put it on any bicycle. Huh. Have a ball. Have that. Yeah, the batteries are a little more costly, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi, kids. Oh, God bless you. <laughs> I turned 60, so I can get away with that now, I think. You open? Yeah. I always forget these bags. How many? You want that back to the back of your your cart? I'll do it. Okay. I have a camera up top here, but it goes in a loop, and I uh, stopped at a friend's house, and we talked and talked, and, and uh, it overdubbed the earlier uh, a bit of video, so uh, I'm going to capture some more so you can see that, too, and just just for a, a kind of a, a visual, you know, a perception of what's going on lately, you know, what stores are demanding what, and, you know, is there, if you read between, between the lines. Now, you know, I'll go into a, a Dylan's with a mask, I suppose, uh, if there's some certain things that I want that only they carry. And so, uh, you know, I haven't done it yet. I'm withholding, I, you know. But uh, if I don't have to, I won't because I think it's just, a, you know, a kind of a humiliation. It's, a, it's kind of anti-human to, you know, demand that, you know, a whole continent wear muzzles and now they're talking about shields and goggles and, and before long it might be a, a crash helmet you know it's just a, it seems a little like a satanic humiliation you know the hatred of humanity in Washington DC all those people they seem to be you know possessed by that kind of a spirit you know people bad you must obey stay at home wear a mask don't get near anybody blah 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 and of course the uh state elitists uh you know they're not subject to these masks uh you know like nancy pelosi she was caught uh, waltzing in for a salon appointment when uh, they had been banned indoors but uh, here she is she waltzes in and gets caught uh, red-handed so to speak uh and claim she was set up, uh, you know, but uh, everybody else, if they want a haircut, they, they it's got to be done outside in San Francisco, but not for Nancy. No, no, no. Uh, the rules aren't for her, and, uh, you know, the the business owners, their, their uh, places are being, you know, bankrupt, uh, and I, I guess even Orthodox uh, Jews uh, aren't uh, being able to hold funerals and stuff, but... You know, old Nancy, you know, she doesn't have a problem, uh, you know, getting everything done she wants to do. No mask, no hassle. Because she's special. You know, all the status elites are, and they really know that the, the masks are meaningless. And uh, uh, they don't stop a virus. They don't uh, help keep you safe. They don't prevent other people from uh, getting sick. And, uh, uh, you know, like I said, the uh, CDC just came out and finally admitted that... Uh, of all of these cases, uh, and uh, uh, there, there was only 6% of them that actually died from co uh, coronavirus. Uh, uh, the rest of the people had 2.6 other, you know, serious things going on, and they were elderly people, you know, uh, pretty much uh, on their deathbed to begin with. And, uh, 
but uh, you know they get uh, more money if they can uh, not call it pneumonia, uh, complications of pneumonia on top of a COPD and other stuff. Uh, they call it uh, COVID. Well, then they get extra uh, taxpayer funds uh, with that uh, CARE Act. So uh, you know it's it's a scam. It's it's a big scam. So. That's all. Uh, you know, you can see the hypocrisy. It's it's going on all over. And uh, apparently this uh, salon uh, owner has gotten a lot of death threats uh, and, and stuff because, you know, she uh, pointed this out about old Nancy uh, sneaking in there and uh, getting her special treatment. So, uh, you know, she's going to move on. The business was probably going to fold anyway because, you know, business owners are, are really uh, taking... Uh, uh, taking it hard. They're not being uh, allowed to uh, uh, do what they do. These really poor sick people that are in the uh, nursing homes, they're not even allowed visits from their their spouses and their family members. So, you know, they're certainly getting depressed uh, even more than they normally are in those, those places. So anyway, I'm going to get to it and uh, roll down the road and go into to an Aldi store on this baby and, and do some shopping. Okay. <laughs> How's that? Have I thought you wanted to come out. Feel free. Yeah, it's uh, it's electric. It's my own invention, but uh, it's not really original because uh, these motors are laced into the wheels. They can put, be put on any bicycle. Uh -huh. So uh, for a couple of years, I had just the one motor, and then I decided to put uh, another motor on the other wheel to see if it would go in the snow, and it does. But you can do this on any bike. Uh, online uh, at Amazon, you can get the kit uh, laced onto a wheel with the controller, everything but the battery, the uh, thumb throttle and everything, and uh, about 300 bucks. Oh, yeah. But then if you want to get a good lithium battery of about 48 volts with the charger, those often will cost about 500. So for about 800 bucks, you can have a, a pretty good uh, a stout, uh, uh, what they call e-bike, but of course this is a trike, this is, you know, I designed this for my own particular needs, and it's got the hand crank too if uh, the electrics go out, and I will tend to get a little exercise up top when I have the smoother surfaces. Thanks. Sit, pat.
working man, coming through. <laughs> You're a real sucker, aren't you? Oh, that lollipop in the mouth. Yeah, I just did a little mass free shopping over at Aldi's. I like it. Huh? I like What'd it. You give me? Oh, just nah, some raw eggs. Well, I'm heading to the Kroger store and uh, there's still a few uh, items that uh, they carry that uh, Aldi's doesn't, you know, non-food items, money orders, uh, Amazon and my uh, Boost Mobile uh, gift cards. All of those purchases are uh, tax-free here on those particular items. So I've got a mask and uh, I'll wear it going in because they'll stop me if I don't uh, undoubtedly but uh, I may shed it uh, after I'm in there and see what happens. We'll see. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Well, I didn't even put it on. Nobody was at the door and uh, some other guy walked in with that one, so here I am. Hey there. I'd like, hi, I'd like uh, two money orders, one for $500 and one for $50. Okay. Oh, it's nice again. I know. You have the new one for duty? Yeah. I suppose. Thank you. You said 150 and 176. 176. I think I got the coins. Still no mask.
Is that all you got? That's all I got so far. All right. Do, 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 do. I'm going to get a hundred dollar mm -hmm. Amazon card. Oh yeah, I've seen several people already. No mask. I like it. It's restoring my faith in Kroger brand again. All right, beer on a Saturday, huh? Beer on a Saturday. I like it. No, it just uh, it seems fitting, you know. It's the weekend. Let's have some beer. What do you think about it, Clifford? Oh, yeah, make that one for 90, please. 90? Yeah. So far, what are you about 90 more bucks? No tax, I like that. Okay, and there you have it. I've just ordered uh, these items uh, tax free uh, uh, with that uh, Amazon card that I uh, purchased at uh, the Kroger uh, uh, store and uh, you know, mask free. Uh, you know, there was uh, there's usually guys uh, uh, at the entrance, but uh, on this occasion there there wasn't. So uh, you know, I just went in with no uh, mask, and uh, otherwise I would have put it on just to get through the door and uh, then taken it off. But uh, I was talking to a neighbor uh, just a day or two ago, and he had his voice box removed. He had cancer in his throat, and uh, he speaks with one of those little machines. I, I knew him before he had that uh, that removed, and uh, but he said he uh, went into uh, Dylan's and and told me that they wouldn't let him in, and he you know tried to explain to them that you know he doesn't do any breathing or air exchange up top there. It's all down below with a, a different filter uh, down below there. But they said no, nah, you gotta gotta wear the mask anyway. Blah blah blah, and so. Uh, he said he, he, he did, and uh, so, you know, I was kind of expecting to, you know, be stopped uh, going in without a mask, but uh, no, nobody was there at the door, and the, the guys at the uh, uh, entrance, uh, they are not store employees, they're paid by uh, uh, corporate, and uh, so, you know, they, they can't be, uh, you know, told by the uh, store management what to do, they've got their own orders, and uh, but nobody was there, and uh, sure enough, you saw inside the store there was, uh, you know, several people, uh, you know, not wearing masks, and there was probably a couple of hundred people in the store, and I, I'm guessing there was probably a, a couple dozen who weren't wearing the mask. But uh, I just got the stuff that was non-food. I think I'll uh, stick with that for the moment. Uh, just get those uh, uh, items that uh, are non-food and non-taxed uh, through the. Uh, uh, Kroger store, uh, you know, quick in and out, uh, even uh, without a mask, uh, you know, I, I don't want to uh, patronize that store as much because they were harder in their policy uh, 
than Aldi's was. Aldi's doesn't have anybody at the uh, entrance uh, trying to stop you and tell you, you know, they've got a, a sign up there, but they're quoting health authority. You know, they're not saying they changed their uh, store policy. I, I believe Dylan's did say they changed their policy, but undoubtedly uh, their policy uh, for their personnel is not one that uh, includes, you know, following or, or looking for people while they're in the store who are not wearing a mask, who have, you know, taken them off uh, to, you know, admonish them and tell them to put them back on or they can't shop there. They they haven't gone that far. And, uh, you know, un undoubtedly, I mean, if people really wanted to protest, they'd just get in the store and they'd all take off their masks. And, you know, then it would be obvious that they, they can't enforce it and they they wouldn't do it. You know, it's just like a war. You know, what if they had a war and nobody would fight? Or what if they had a tax and nobody would pay it? You know, so. So anyway, uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll keep shopping for uh, my food stuff at Aldi's, but uh, uh, those non-food, non-taxable items uh, uh, through uh, uh, the Kroger stores, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I, I like the Kroger store. I, I like the staff in there. They're they're all good. They've got to suffer under this same nonsense that uh, most of us healthy people do, and you know we're all kind of they're trying to hold us all hostage, but uh, it's it's pretty silly because, you know, a paper mask, a cloth mask, doesn't stop uh, a virus. The particles are too small. So, you know, it, it's, just, uh, it's just a gesture or a humiliation of sorts, uh, you know, for the human species uh, by the state generally. The state is uh, putting all this in motion. But yeah, uh, happy uh, resolution. So, uh, you know, I can still shop uh, mass free for whatever I want, and uh, that's a good thing. Uh, other places I shop, I haven't had an issue. Uh, the uh, one uh, UPS store, I uh, popped in there and asked them if they carried money orders, uh, but they said they didn't. Uh, and they have, they kind of demand a, uh, a mask, at least uh, on their uh, uh, entrance. They have a, sign that says, you know, if you're going to shop here, you, you got to wear it. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to buy money orders there, but uh, they didn't have them anyway. So, yeah, just a, a, a happy little uh, a clip. I'll uh, stitch this together, uh, the little recordings, and uh, try to make it cohesive enough that it, it makes sense. Okay. All right. I'll catch you guys next time.